Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Edward Scissorhands. So, Edward Scissorhands is written and directed by Tim Burton. It stars Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder, Alan Arkin, and this film is about this woman that finds this man with hands for scissors, you know, known as Edward Scissorhands. He's been living all alone. He has like no family. Of course, the woman feels really bad for Edward. Despite how Edward looks, she decides to take him home with her and her family. So from there, Edward blends in with the family and the overall community where he can interact with more people. So before I review Edward Scissorhands, my guest star, Adam is going to be reviewing this movie. So, Adam... I don't know why the fuck I did that. Take it away! Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me be part of your review for Edward Scissorhands. Now, Edward Scissorhands is directed by Tim Burton. It stars Johnny Depp, uh, a bunch of other people. I just forget the names of, honestly. But, uh, yeah... Uh, Edward Scissorhands is a movie I actually watched a lot um, growing up. It's and I always really loved this movie. This is just a really like original movie. You've, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it before. Just really original. The acting is really great from the cast. It's really I love how dark it is, but it can be it can be dark, but it can be like light at the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's like an absolutely perfect movie. It's not my favorite from Tim Burton, but it is a really fun one. Um, flaws I have with the movie is there's some scenes that just were a little kind of slow to me. I didn't some scenes I didn't really enjoy as much as other scenes. It's just it did suffer from some boring moments, but it's still a really fun movie. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a movie I really enjoyed growing up, and I still enjoy today. Johnny Depp is terrific in this movie. Absolutely terrific as Edward Scissorhands. Um, it's a really original story, too. I don't think, like, when this came out, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this before. So, Tim Burton did a really good job directing this movie. Um, it's just a really good, good movie. It's not Tim Burton's best, but it's definitely not his worst. It's one of his best, but I wouldn't go as far as saying it's his best movie. Um, overall, I'm going to give Edward Scissorhands a 4 out of 5. It's a really enjoyable movie. It just suffers from some scenes that are a little boring and slow. But other than that, it is enjoyable. It's fun. It's original. It's, it's just fresh. It's just a really good movie. The acting is great. So yeah, anyway, thank you to my tire, dude. Uh, now back to you, man. Oh, shit, he's done. Thank you so much, Adam, for reviewing Edward Scissorhands. So, Edward Scissorhands is honestly just a remarkable piece of work from Tim Burton. This movie is just so beautiful. It's so original, so inventive. It has one of the strangest looking characters, yet you can get behind the character of Edward Scissorhands. Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands was born to play this role. Johnny Depp plays this shy character with such personality to him. And honestly, I don't see anyone that could play this part better than Johnny Depp. It's really cool how, despite how he looks, despite him having hands for scissors, he is actually a really good character. He's a, He has a good heart to him and you actually feel bad for the character. So it's really nice when the mom of this family decides to just bring Edward home, even when you can get kind of intimidated by his look. Yet, like I said, he's just a very good soul. The script is so terrific. It's written so brilliantly and so beautifully. It is a well-crafted movie. Cinematography just blows me away. And it's not surprised because with these Tim Burton movies, the cinematography, whether his movies are good or not, they're gonna be really good. For Edward Scissorhands, it just looks fantastic. I loved how it was shot. I loved how it was framed. There's no shakiness in the camera work or everything. The camera work in every scene of the movie is just amazing. The score to Edward Scissorhands is honestly one of the 
best scores from Danny Elfman, hands down. It's just so beautiful. It fits the tone and the overall atmosphere of Edward Scissorhands. There's even a point where the score is just so beautiful and just so full of joy and heart that it honestly not only gives me the chills, but it kind of makes me want to cry. That's how beautiful his score is. When you can make a score to the point where I nearly want to cry, you know you did a freaking successful job with it. So Danny Elfman, ugh, you are the man, dude. Seriously, freaking amazing work right here with his score. The performances are really great here too. Not just from Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands, but you also have Alan Arkin as the father of the family. He was really entertaining here. Winona Ryder was really great here too and she created such a really nice character because when she sees Edward Scissorhands you can see that yeah she's intimidated by him but as the movie progresses you can see that she's more accepting of Edward and she's starting to connect more and have more sympathy for the character. And just the character design of Edward Scissorhands is so awesome. I mean, when you see the scissors on his hands, and when you see like the makeup, and I'm sure they had to do like a lot of hairstyling on Johnny Depp, like wow. Whoever came up with the character design of Edward Scissorhands, you could tell just went all out. And I give credit to whoever actually came up with the design of that character because it's honestly one of the best character designs I've ever seen in film. Just period. The script for this movie has a lot of soul to it, a lot of passion to it, and of course when you have a great filmmaker like Tim Burton, he just knows how to create the world and his characters and honestly whenever I watch Edward Scissorhands I am literally sucked into this world. Even when I had flaws with this movie, which I'll get to in a little bit, I was still like invested throughout. There's not a single moment in this movie where I was honestly bored. It's so well paced. The editing is fantastic. Like I said, the score from Danny Elfman is fucking awesome. And the direction from Tim Burton is just amazing as well as just wonderful performances. And the comedy in this movie was really good here. There was some really good humor that had me really laughing because of the overall strangeness that Tim Burton brings to Edward Scissorhands. Now the only problems I do have with Edward Scissorhands is that there's this seducing scene and those who have seen this movie know exactly what I'm talking about but this certain scene that deals with seducing felt really out of place in my opinion. Anthony Michael Hall does honestly a really good job with his performance for this film. He really does. I felt like his character just felt shoehorned into this movie just so Edward Scissorhands could have an antagonist to deal with. He plays the character Jim who really despises Edward because of how he looks with his scissor hand. For the first two acts of this movie, this movie showed you really didn't need an antagonist. And honestly, that could have just been the same when you get to the third act of the movie. And then the last problem I did have with Edward Scissorhands is that in the third act, the tone really goes on and off. Overall, guys, Edward Scissorhands is a fantastic movie. Beautiful performances, a great atmosphere, a phenomenal score by Danny Elfman, terrific cinematography. It does have a very beautiful message on not to judge someone on how they look. And honestly, by the time the movie ended, I was actually pretty speechless because of how beautifully made and well crafted it was. So I'm going to give Edward Scissorhands three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Edward Scissorhands. And I would love to thank my guest star, Adam Haskell, for being here to review Edward Scissorhands. He's a very nice guy, you guys. So if you haven't checked out his channel, I will leave a link to Adam's channel in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Wow!